Welcome to the day in the life of a luxury spa owner on her day off. Of course, I start by making up my bed because it's a well-known fact that everybody that is rich makes up their bed every day. Then I let my dogs out, Nori and Mega, and then look at my couch. It gives me anxiety. It's actually a dupe of the Restoration Howard Cloud app sofa, but yeah, it's comfy to sit on but not pretty to look at. So I had to get some coffee and to get fueled up to even deal with that and so once i have my coffee then i can tackle this couch it looks a lot better afterwards i'm not gonna lie and then i water my plants these are the plants that we have outside the front door and i actually picked them so i'm proud of myself i pick out my fit cute little top shop number and then i'm headed to my first appointment of the day and i am so excited i got in there and out in like 10 minutes it was crazy um, so the new plates for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority came out, so I'm taking off my USF plate and I'm adding my AKA plate, so excited. Then I head to Land Rover because that little silver piece on my key is missing and they legit charged me $70 to put it back on. What a rip off. And then I got a car wash and then I had a call with Jai Butler while I was doing that car wash. What day off is complete without a target run and just checking out some skincare and also paying my target bill because you got to get that credit a1 then i go to the apple store because my bottom mic on my phone was not working and they were like yeah you need to get a new phone so got some starbies and then i had a botox appointment with yulia she is the one that comes to the spa to do the fillers she is from ukraine she is amazing symmetry everything is always on point she takes her time then I'm headed to my next appointment. It was in like an old cigar factory. It was kind of funny trying to find it. But once I did find where she was at, um, it was super cute. She is going to be custom making me a dress for Boule, which is going to be happening in July. I'm so excited about that. Then I went to the AT&T store to get a new phone, but he was like, girl, just wait, because the new phone is coming out in September. And a quick outfit check. Then we had day night at this really good restaurant. It was so, so good. Ivoroni's, I think it's called. And then I thought we were done, but he was like, no, let's go to my friend's jam session and have some more wine. Way too much wine, and that's the end of the night. Bye.